वेलकम अगेन एंड इन दिस वीडियो यू विल सी हाउ यू कैन जनरेट टैग्स फॉर योर यूट्यूब वीडियोज यूजिंग चैट जी पी टी ऑटोमेटिकली सो दिस वीडियो इज फॉर ऑल द कंटेंट क्रिएटर्स आउट देयर एंड एज अ कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर यू ऑलरेडी नो हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट इट इज टू कीप योर यूट्यूब वीडियोज मेटा डेटा ऑप्टोमाइज एंड वन की कंपोनेंट ऑफ योर यूट्यूब वीडियोज मेटा डेटा इज द टैक्स सो गाइज Uh, manually generating tags can be really tedious and time consuming and, and that's where chat gpt comes in and with the help of chat gpt inside our automation workflow you can generate the tags automatically and save your valuable time and we are going to do this without any coding super simply so let's begin and we are going to set up this automation using pably connect which is an automation and integration tool and this is the landing page of pably connect and i'm going to paste this link the landing page link in the description from here you can sign up for free and can get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations after that you can sign in and reach the dashboard of pably connect from here click on this create workflow button here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well so i'm giving the name here as generate so this is the name i have given and uh, you can give any name after that click on create button and your workflow page will load up like this and on this page guys you will find these two modules the trigger and the action so our automations are based on these two things only so trigger is that event which is going to start our workflow and the action would be a automated consequence or the response towards the trigger in our use case guys Uh, we are adding the details of our published youtube videos in a spreadsheet in google sheets application and as we are going to add the data like this you can see the title of the video the description the video link the category if you want to provide less information you can provide less okay and as you enter the data here that is going to trigger the workflow okay and well, the workflow is going to generate tags for the Uh, video that you have added in the sheet so here you can see it is asking to choose the application so here you have to choose the trigger application so in our case google sheets will be the trigger application because we are adding the details of youtube videos in that only so search for google sheets select it okay then select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row and it will give you this url so with the help of this webhook url we are going to create a connection with google sheets and after that we are going to capture the response of the connection okay so you need to follow these steps written here to make this connection so you can just follow it i am just going to show you directly how you can do that so guys first of all i would recommend you to open your spreadsheet in a new incognito window if you are uh, using multiple google accounts in the same browser okay so if you are using multiple google accounts in the same browser it is open it is better to open the spreadsheet here in incognito mode to make the connection properly and these are the details i have in this spreadsheet about my youtube videos like the title of the video the description the link the category id the request id the upload status okay and here i want to uh, generate the tags and upload the tags okay here guys click on extensions and from this add-ons menu click on get add-ons and from this google workspace marketplace window you have to install an add-on here which is called pably p a b b l y pably connect webhooks okay install it here i have already installed it and after that you have to refresh your spreadsheet that is an important step and after uh, refreshing your spreadsheet when you click on extensions again you will find this pably connect webhooks option available here in the drop down and from here you have to click on this initial setup button and under initial setup you will find these two fields the webhook url field and the trigger column so in this webhook url field you have to paste the url that you got from your workflow and here in the trigger column you have to mention the final data entry column or the last data entry column of your spreadsheet what does that mean this means uh, uh, that here you can see when you start entering the details of any video here you will start from column a 
then B, then C, then D, then E, and finally you will enter the uploading status in the column F. So as you enter the detail here, the data here in column F, that is going to trigger the workflow. So F column will be our trigger column or whatever the column in which you enter the data finally to trigger the workflow that will be the trigger column. So in our case, F is the trigger column. Now let me uh, copy this, copy the webhook URL from my workflow. This is the workflow, click on copy here. And let me open the spreadsheet again. From here, click on extensions, public connect webhooks, initial setup. Here under webhook URL, you have to paste the URL. So uh, an old URL is already pasted. Let me erase this and let me paste this new one. Okay. Trigger column is the same F. And here we have this send test button. So guys, you can see in your uh, spreadsheet here, as we have copied this webhook URL, it started showing waiting for the webhook connections response. This means now we have to send some test data from our spreadsheet to here in our workflow. So to get the test data here, you need to just go to the initial setup and click on send test button. Okay, and the data of first row that you have in your spreadsheet will be sent to the workflow as the test data. Here you can see guys, it started showing test data sent successfully and this is the data that has been sent. The title, the description and all the things. Okay, now you can click on submit here. Okay, so the setup is configured here. Now you can close this window and uh, from here, extensions, you have to do one thing more from this public connect webhooks option, click on this send on event option as well. So when you check this send on event option, what will happen in real time whenever you are going to add any new row that will be act as a new event and it will trigger the workflow. Okay. So let's see in our workflow now if we got the data captured or the test data. Here you can see guys, we got this response received and here it started showing the upload status, the trigger column, the title, the spreadsheet's name, spreadsheet ID, the description, request ID, everything is captured here. And these are the same things that we have here in the first row. You can see the title of the first row is dense forest. You can see dense forest here. Okay. And the description also, this is the same description that we have here. Okay. Right. So uh, we got the test data. Now for this video, I want to generate tags using chat GPT. So in this action step, search for chat GPT. And the action event is ask chat GPT. So you can ask anything to that. And after that, click on connect button. From here, select add new connection. And here it will ask for the API key of uh, OpenAI or chat GPT. So you will get the key from the OpenAI key pages. So you can just go to the OpenAI keys page from this link only. So click on it and you will reach your accounts API keys page. If you're logged in, if you're not logged in, it might ask you to log in, then you will enter this page. From here, you can click on this create new secret key button. And here, th this is how your key will be generated. So you just have to copy the key and paste the key here in this token field and then click on save and you will be connected like this. All right. Then from here, you can select the artificial intelligence model that you want to use. So we have right now two models available, the 3.5 turbo and the 3.5 turbo 0301. Chat GPT-4 is also coming up in just a few days. So you can use that also. Okay. I'm selecting 3.5 turbo right now. And here you have to provide a prompt. So prompt is like a command for chat GPT to generate uh, anything that you want. So I'm giving the prompt here as generate tags for my for a YouTube video. Okay, this is the uh, prompt I am giving and here I, I am going to provide the video title and video description. Okay, so when you provide these details, it will, uh, it will accurately generate tags. Okay, 
so guys here you can see we have received the title and the description here from our spreadsheet okay and i'm going to map these labels i have received here in this prompt so that i can generate the things okay so to map the title you just have to uh, click here and you can see the previous trigger appear will uh, will appear here in the drop down and when you click on it you will find all the data right here so from here map on the title label to map the title similarly let me map the description from the last step okay right now click on save and send test request button and chat gpt is going to generate tags for your youtube video automatically in front of you and here is the response we have received and when you scroll down here you will find this choices zero message content label in this label you will find the tags like this you can see dense forest is one tag amazon rainforest congo forest lush ecosystem biodiversity so my video is all about the forest and forest ecosystems and these are the tags generated automatically by chat gpt okay now we can update this tags to the youtube or you we can save these tags inside our spreadsheet as well in this tags column so to update the tags here automatically we are going to connect with our sheet again just click here on this plus icon and from this action step you can select google sheets one more time then select the action event as update cell value select update cell value option then click on connect from here select so guys we have already connected with google sheets in the trigger and i have already made many connections with my google sheet application in the actions as well in different workflows and every connection that you make with any application inside your workflows are saved in your account so if you want to make the connections again you can use those save connections for that keep this existing select select existing connection option selected and from here it will show you the list of your saved connections from here you can choose any connection then click on save one more time and you will be connected again you can see we are getting connected okay and here it will show you uh, this option select spreadsheet so when you click here it will show you the list of all your spreadsheets from here select the relevant sheet this is my spreadsheet name youtube videos and i am selecting it here then it will ask you to select the sheet so we have only one sheet here named as sheet one so it is auto populated here it is asking for the range where you want to update the value so here you can see guys in this uh, spreadsheet we want to update this cell okay so here when you select this cell in this uh, name box it is showing g2 this is the range of the cell this this means that the cell is present at column g row number two okay to put the range here in this workflow i'm just going to put capital g okay and for the row number i'm going to use this data from the first step here you can see we have received the row indexes as well just map the row index here so it will be uh, updated automatically in real time whenever this workflow is going to execute and right cells will be updated automatically in real time okay this is how you can put the dynamic range and the value i want to update here is the tags generated by chat gpt so i'm mapping the message content label here in the value now you can check your connection with spreadsheet guys just click on save and send test request button and the text will appear here in this cell value let cell let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request button and this is the response we have received let us check our spreadsheet if we got the cell updated and here you can see guys we got the cell updated like this and here we got all the tags okay so this is how it is going to work in real time in real time guys after setting up this workflow you just have to add these details and as you complete the up updating the details till column f that is going to trigger the workflow the tags will be generated and will be updated inside this cell automatically and you do not even have to open the workflow you can just see it here okay and guys if you want to upload these tags inside youtube videos also automatically you can just uh, open another action step and use youtube action event here as well so you can just search for youtube okay 
we have an integration with YouTube as well. And here we have an action event, which is called update video details. You will find it here, update video details. Okay. So you can use this action event and update the tags inside your videos automatically as well. Okay. Right now I'm not showing you this. You can ju just do it. It's really simple. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.